long-range aircraft all chase efficiency, but one approach bends the wing, the other manages the bend. At cruise altitude, wings are not rigid. They flex, they twist, they are constantly loaded. The longer the wing, the more efficient it can be in cruise, but the higher the bending forces at the root, and that is where philosophies quietly split. Boeing's long-range designs tend to favor longer, more flexible wings, higher aspect ratio, more natural flex, excellent cruise efficiency over long distances. The structure is designed to live with that bending. Airbus still aims for cruise efficiency, but bending moments are actively managed. Control surfaces and load alleviation systems work continuously to reduce wing root stress during flight. The wing still flexes, but the aircraft actively limits how much load it carries. This is not about which wing looks better. One philosophy lets the wing do the work naturally. The other uses systems to keep structural loads lower. Both reach the same destination. Both meet the same certification margins. They just disagree on whether efficiency should come from geometry or active control. So which approach do you trust more? A longer wing that flexes and accepts the load? Or a wing constantly managed to protect itself? Is simplicity stronger? Or is active load control smarter? Because one design philosophy bends with the air and the other refuses to let the air decide.